Um, okay, let's start with the easiest one. Uh, so I made the lines uh, invisible, or not invisible, but I made them uh, white to match the background. So really easy, just added, <laughs> you can't even call it a line of code. It's just stroke 255 because 255 is white. And I did it on both the vertical and the horizontal lines. Okay, so that was easy. Uh, the next thing I added was a score. So I went to go up at the top, integer, score, made it start off at zero. And then the way I made it that you um, uh, add to your score is whenever you eat an apple. So whenever you eat an apple, when snake eats an apple, score plus plus. So you add one to your score. For every apple you eat, you add a score. And now your score will pop up when the game's over. So that is whenever you hit an obstacle or when you touch, um, when the snake kind of touches itself. So underneath game over text, although it could be above, it doesn't really matter. Text size 60, fill black text, your score 150, just a little bit um, of a different X coordinate. And I made it lower down than the game over. And then for your actual score, text size 60 as well, fill black, text score, which is your variable, and then 300 and 400, a little bit lower down than there. Okay, next thing I added, I made the PI image Apple, got a uh, image off of <laughs> Google. No, actually I totally made the image, I did not take it at all for sure. <laughs> Anyways, I got an apple. Here, let me show you it in the documents. Right there, apple.png, uh, day 10 snake game. And then whenever you make an apple, so I made apple load image dot apple dot png image. So instead of an ellipse or a rect, or a rect I did an image, and then I had to do apple, because it's loading this, which it has apple.png attached to it. And then I kept all the exact same code of where it is and all that right afterwards. Um, uh, because my computer is maybe not the strongest, I had to reduce the frame count or the amount uh, you're dividing it, uh, modulate, modulating it by. I don't, I don't know the proper term. Uh, 1.5. It's a pretty big jump <laughs> from 15 to 1.5. But I mean. I don't know, for some reason, it made a huge difference. I just could not move very fast. Um, another thing I did was, where is it? Oh, it's up here, I think. Yes, so I made it so that there are less apples spawning. I just felt like there are too many. So I started it off at f the integer i at five instead of zero. So that makes it start uh, end up with less apples. So let's play. Great, we're moving around. Let's go collect this apple here. Oh, didn't press it fast enough. Boom, things are adding. Things are moving. Oh, I killed myself. Well, there it is, game over, your score, six. So those are all the improvements I made. I forgot to say uh, how challenging things were. So um, again, score. I mean, sorry, making the line and uh, uh, not visible to the eye. Super duper easy. Um, making the score was a little bit more challenging, but again, all I needed to do was make the integer and then put this code here. Not super challenging. Not maybe didn't make me think a whole lot. Um, adding the, um, uh, the apple, that was uh, not super duper challenging um, as well. Uh, just had to do that and then add the image apple and stuff um, Again, not challenging frame count wasn't challenging. I just was like, how do I make it so that? Uh, snake can move faster. I was like probably it ha or not probably I just have to change the number for the frame count and um, uh, What well what else what did I change? Oh, yes to make uh, less apple spawn uh, it just, it took me a couple, uh, like 10 seconds to like, okay, where would I do that in? And then I was like, oh, it's right here. So, I mean, not, not super challenging. Everything I did score was probably the most challenging. Um, 
I mean, I wasn't super challenging. That's why I did uh, as many things as I did. Um, if none of these were challenging enough, uh, just, I don't know, tell me and I'll uh, do another one that's a little bit more challenging. Like, uh, what could I do? What could I do? Um, uh, like adding uh, another item that spawns in, like, I don't know, a power-up or maybe... I don't know, an orange that gives you two points or whatever. That I guess that would be not too challenging. I mean, I just have to do some copy-pasting. And uh, maybe some, and some of this would be changing, color changing. Um, but yeah, I think what I did is enough. But if, it, if I need to add a little more, that's no problem. Just, I don't know, message me on Schoology. Uh, thank you for... Uh, kind of leading this course. It's been really fun learning how to code and stuff. Right, so yeah, just thank you so much for uh, teaching the course or this part of the course.